What's going on guys, Compound Server 10 back again for another video here on the channel and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield Gameplay Extravaganza Let's Play walk Walkthrough, whatever you guys want to call it. Today, we are entering Winden. That's it, yeah, ahead of us with the largest tower. Last episode, we finally got our sixth team, team member after such a long time. Uh, we made our way along Route 10 uh, and we are now here. Uh, as well as, I don't really think much else happened. We just battled a lot of trainers, hence why the episode was long. Not much else happened otherwise. But, uh, before we enter Windon, let's quickly go ahead and get a team a recap for you guys. <coughs> so first up we got Toxtricity, level uh, 53. Holding the Amulet Coin with uh, plus as its ability with Sludge Wave, Overdrive, Boom Burst and Nuzzle. With one of our, and he is one of our hasty duo. Next up, we got Cole Russell holding level fi uh, no level 52 holding the King's Rock with Flame Body with Rock Slide, Heat Crash, High Horsepower, and Toss Shot. Now, last episode, I said that uh, he needs a new Rock type, physical Rock type move. So I decided to look up where to get Rock Slide and found a TM on back on Route 9, uh, which is the route from the uh, Snow City to the Dark City, uh, whatever they're called, <laughs> whatever their town names are called. Um, so I managed to find it, and it's great. Uh, heat Crash, I also want to get rid of, um, and I believe we should get Fire Punch in this next city that we're going into, which is what I'm going to rock with. He does get Burnout, and it's a special type move, and our special attack isn't massively lower. It's like 10 points lower, but I don't want to give up the ability of being a Fire type. So that's whatever, and he is Impish Nature. Next up, we've got Corv Knight, level 53, holding the Sharp Beak with Pressure as his... Uh, Ability. Uh, we are Rocky in Brave Bird, Steel Wing, U Turn, and Home Claws, and it's Modest Nature. Can you imagine what his attack would be like if we were an attack boosting nature? But it'd be like 130, 140, something like that. Next, we've got Dreadnought, level 52, uh, rocking the leftovers uh, with Stronger Resistibility, rocking Waterfall, Rock Slide, also. Jaw Lock and Smart Strike as his moves with Relaxed Nature. Also, obviously, also taught him Rock Slide. Makes sense. Next up, we got our Starler Rillaboom, hold uh, level 53 with our Miracle Seed, uh, with Overgrow, with Drum Beating, Knock Off, Wood Hammer, Slam, and ha uh, he's the second of the uh, the Hasty Duo. And last but not least, our newest member to the squad, we've got Dracloak, the pseudo of this game, uh, holding the Evia Light level 54 with Infiltrator. Paris of the uh, okay. Um, with Fountain Force, Breaking Swipe. Uh, Dragonette and you turn um, and is gentle nature so that all being said and done let's go ahead and travel into Winden which is essentially London of this game I wonder how big this is going to be probably not that big actually looking from that From that image, it doesn't look all that big, but I could be entirely wrong. It's got a monorail by the looks of it. Okay, I could be massively wrong. It looks, it looks pretty big. It looks pretty big. <laughs> big Ben over there. London Eye. The stadium. The championship stadium, actually. Well, we're really getting into the latter stages of the game now. All right, Winden City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? Uh, I'm about to become the champion, the new champion of the Galar region. Ah, uh, you wish. That's it. I'm headed straight for Windham Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Connor. You should head out yourself. Oh boy, I will be. Don't you worry. Good thing I didn't walk into the town, eh? I could have walked at least up to the door, but oh well. Uh, uh, am I, should I just head straight? Nah, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> I want to see if there's any new drip we can cop. No new t-shirts. Oh, new hoodies, new hoodies. 
Oh, I like that one. I like that. Oh, look at these rocker jackets. I quite like that dragon one though. So what we've got now, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna swap to this. Does this mean I'll have the dragon hat? As well. Oh. Hat. Dragon hat. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna keep the navy. Uh, I'm gonna keep the navy trousers. Ooh. Oh, there's not a navy one. Uh, nah. Uh, the bag. I was like, we haven't had a new bag in a hot minute, really. If you think about it, oh, studded stuff. Jesus Christ, look at this. 79k for a bag. You mad? <laughs> you must be mad. You must be mad. Uh, I'm gonna keep the white and blue bag we have. I wish it was white and navy, but you know, we can't all can't win every battle. We, we fresh out, we fresh out with new drip. All right, now that now that we're re-dripped out, let's go ahead. Oh wait, no, hold on, because we gotta buy uh, five hundred. So it is not. But this is where you get quick balls. After all this time, this is where you get quick balls. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna drop a hundred k. On quick balls because that's how much I want them. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else to sell? Not really. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we got these. Might as well sell these while we're here because we never use X items. So that, no, the poker doll actually came in handy. Let's keep that for now. Sell one more, and there we go. I think we can about sell great balls as well, but I'm just, I'm just going to keep everything now. Um, I think. I think that's good. I think that's good. So, question is, where do you buy Fire Punch then? Is it this place? No, this is a battle cafe. That's the hairdressing place. This looks like it could be a market. It would help if, like, they actually use the English language. Oh, look, it's a taxi. Yeah, it would actually help if you use the English language in the game, not just a made-up language. No, this is a hotel, is it? Being a doorman is a lot of work. What is this place? Welcome to the Rose of the Rondelands. Okay, so it's a hotel. I just want to find a way to get Fire Punch. I probably really shouldn't be wasting this much time considering this next part of the game is probably going to be quite long. Wyndham Stadium Monorail Station. Uh, uh, I saw that item. Uh, we can probably deal without Fire Punch. So, I don't want to waste any more time. Oh, thirsty boy. Hello, taxi. And so you can fly over there as well. Or rather, not just a monorail hotel. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. Let's hold on. Is there. Okay, so there's a Pokemon Center here. Is there a seller here as well? There is. It is a TM shop. Boom. There we go. 50k on. I'm gonna get Drain Punch 2. Because there is someone I think who might be able to learn Drain Punch. I'm not 100% sure. But it's not a bad TM to have. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Goodbye, Slam! <laughs> and we finally got a fighting type move. Thank God for that. Jesus Christ. Um, I need to find a way you get Toxic from as well, because I want to teach Toxic to Rillaboom instead of Wood Hammer, I'm, I think. Uh, and, no, not not you. I don't need to teach it to Toxicity. 
I need to teach it to Colossal. Ah, oh. sorry, like. Heat crash in its in its sound good considering Colossal is such a big one, but uh, such a big boy. But I haven't really seen enough from it that uh, really warranted me getting rid of it for uh, flame charge. So we're getting rid of flame charge for it. So I'm gonna go through a more direct approach of fire punch. So it's a little bit better for us. And yeah, you know, I'm I'm happy. Hi, Manny. This is it! I really made it! I made it through the gym challenge! There might be four remaining in the semi-finals. Well, I'm the one who's gonna win through the through and battle the champion! I wonder who the fourth person is gonna be. Oh, I wonder. I think it's like I think it's gonna be Speedy. Because we haven't seen him for, seen him or her for so long. Um But we'll see. Connor, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but Connor, I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle. You're on the, the biggest stage of them all. It looks like BD couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow, I didn't think he'd just... Uh, how? Somehow, I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? Eh. I guess it is what it is. Come on, Connor. We should head to the locker room. Okay, here goes nothing. To the gym challenge! The semi-finals will be starting soon! Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready! Oh, punched it, punch it. Oh, oh, punch. Yeah, yeah, oh, boxing. Oh, oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm the new kid. No, <laughs> I can't say that when I look more like looking for. From an authorized people. Is this the way I was supposed to go? Ah, oh, no. Oh, so you can just leave. <laughs> okay. Winden Stadium. I should have checked if I could buy full restores. Uh, hold on. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me a second. <laughs> if this episode is a little bit longer, it's fine. But I do think uh, we should check. Because they will come in handy if we can get them. Come on, go in. Uh, congratulations, bye. We can indeed. About to drop fact stacks on these. Boom, just like that, like all of our money is gone. I'm here to sell. We can sell a bunch of stuff to try and get some money back. Uh, hyper potions we don't need as many of now, so I'm going to sell 16 back of them to you. Uh, I can sell all these back to you. Because I can just buy full heals instead. Energy powder I'm never going to use. Energy root I'm never going to use. Um, these I will use. <laughs> so I want a couple more full restores, like another 10. Another 10 will be nice. And then where are my full heals? I got, I want another eight of them. All right. Okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, let's just quickly do the bag check. Uh, we're going to uh, favorite and favorite as well as favorite. Uh, favorites first. Uh, uh, nah. Nah, nah. Favorites first. Uh, then I want fill heals, revives, no. Uh, it doesn't do it in the way I wanted it to. Uh, I, I, I could spend the time, but like, no, we're done. We're done wasting time, let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ideally, I would have liked to put this in. Uh, this just might be like an hour long episode, to be honest. Who knows? We'll just see how it goes. Because I don't want to do like one battle, stop, and then another, like, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. This might not go as smoothly as I'm thinking it might. Right. Who are we leading with, boys? Who are we leading with? I don't even know if we're on par levels wise. This is a massive guess. We could be massively under leveled. Uh, actually, what? <laughs> screw it. As we're going through last preparations, I don't want to be surprised. I'm going to put everyone up to level 
53 at least. Everyone is going up to level 53. Absolutely everyone. Medium candy for Colossal to get him a bit more up there. I'll uh, give him one more. Give one to... No, I didn't mean to... <sighs> get you in trouble if you don't know, if you don't know is it? It's fine, we'll just get everyone close. Uh, and we want to give, like, three to Dreadnought. Crap. Ah, uh, that'll do. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Fuck it, we'll go. Fuck it! I don't care anymore, let's go. <laughs> I've wasted too much time. Here goes nothing, boys. Here goes nothing. Only four trainers made it to the final. She's 960. So we're battling Marnie in the semi-finals. Obviously because we're going to battle Hop, but... Yeah, I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know there's uh, been a lot, but uh, I know that there's been a lot between us. Uh, what with my Brig Butter team help, yell helping Spike Moth and all that. But the truth is, when all said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. Ooh, fight and talk, Marnie. Fight and talk. I still didn't change who we were leading with. We we're still look, leading with Toxical. Oh no, Toxicity. Which, given Marnie's ammo, isn't. Great. It's not bad either. Uh, I'm going to lower the game volume a little bit, just so you can 100% hear me. I'm going to win this, even if I uh, uh, so if you come to me, I'm going to come at you with everything I got. Level 47. We're over leveled for this bit. We might not be over leveled for the final and then the champion battle. I'm hoping. Oh, I'm really hoping. Right. Seriously super hoping. Oh, God damn it. I, I didn't want to be this over leveled. Uh, I wish I had stayed at level 50 now. Or I wish it... To be fair though, I would have gotten to at least level 51, 52 after that battle anyway. On everyone. So the fact I'm like 53, 54, like I'm only like one or two levels above where I should be, and that's because I use the candy. So maybe we'll be fine. Maybe by the end of it, maybe just for this bit, we'll be over leveled. But I think Leon might be level 42s or 52s or something. So we'll still be over leveled, but we won't be massively. But Corviknight can come on through. She can send out Scrafty. And we're gonna go ahead and use a Brave Bird because we're dangerous kamikaze motherfuckers. Brave Bird, yeah! I just, the thing I remember about Brave Bird is the anime uh, or the show with um, Star Raptor and he goes, Star Raptor! And he just goes, Pfft. It was like a tank hitting someone. Looks really level 54, no surprise there. Marpico. Uh. We'll keep, um, keep Corviknight out, we'll use U-turn, so he's, you know, level 40 up, 48, I don't know if more Picos it's her ace or not, so we could see a level 49 as her ace, otherwise 48 more Pico would be her ace, so, it's neither here nor there, uh, I'll go back out to Colossal and hit it with a high horsepower, because super effectiveness, I'm curious what she's going to use as her Dynamax. Whatever her Dynamax is, uh, obviously going to be her ace, isn't it? Full restore, it might be in vain. I'm just saying, it might be in vain. Hi, horsepower. Shaw! Sure. Dead and gone, dead and gone, dead and gone. Sorry, Manny, but we're just kicking your butt at this moment in time. Talk to Kirk. Uh, I could stay in, but for level reasons, I'm going to go into Corviknight. 
So I don't want uh, Colossal getting too much more experience, but Corv Knight will now become level 54 after this. Demolition! Demolition of Toxic Croak. It's also going to need healing because of it. So I was going to put... Is it the... I could put the leftovers from Co Thingy on here. From Dreadnought onto it. But then it's like it's not sharp, beat, boosted. I think it'll still do a lot of damage anyway. At least then I'd regenerate a little bit of health over time. Golden Knight level 54. Rillaboom level 54. So everyone's level 54 now. <laughs> In death, but no. Absolutely not. I didn't see what she was going to send out. Something with a G. I'll keep him out. Her out. Uh, I've got everyone's check in, cheers back in me. Uh, something. Grimmsnarl. The Dark Fairy. This is her ace and all. 49. Dark Fairy. She about to Gigantamax. We're about to U-turn on this Gigantamax. Uh, and hopefully... See if I, if I just paid attention... Jesus Christ, look at him. He looks like just the, the body of a human. Like, a, a really muscly human. Like, it looks like he just got his muscle, muscle like, showing and stuff. Like, his cartilage showing. Whatever you do, just don't let it completely annihilate me. Please, Grimmsnow, be nice. I like it. That, that view is like, Toxicity is like this. He's like, yeah, bring it on, but And then, Max Snooze. <laughs> oh, we live in. Max Strike. Uh, we ought to heal up. That was two turns. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because I don't want to risk Toxicity dying. We'll heal up. Hopefully take another one of those. He'll come out a Gig Gigantamax form. Then wheel Gigantamax and then hit it with Max Ooze. Okay. Shouldn't that have been the last turn? I'm getting drowsy. This isn't good. But that's what full restores are for, I guess. So as long as you didn't get a crit, we should take one more. I swear that was his third turn. Oh no, because we you tuned into me. There's a chance we fall asleep here. Yeah, that's what I thought. But we're going to use a max full restore anyway. So that's fine. Grimstyle's back down to earth now. We use a full restore, we'll wake him up, uh, heal him up, Dynamax us, or Gigantamax ourselves, and max use this bitch. And that should be game done. Darkest Lariat. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I, I think we should be fine with that. Dynamax, Max Ooze. Should be it. We're playing smart. Because I could have Gigantamax like the first turn of sending him out, but I don't think one Max Ooze was going to kill him. So. Here goes nothing. Come on, Toxicity. Get that heal boost as well, so even if he is faster, hopefully it won't kill. But I think we are faster, yes. And hopefully, yeah, it does. And it was level 49, so yeah, so it levels are creeping up, so it's not as bad as I once thought. <sighs> Shrek Loke level 55. But jeez, that was the toughest battle Marnie has given me so thus far. Sorry, Manny. Okay, so I lost. It's okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of the good points you of you and your Pokemon. Sorry, Manny. It's got beaten by the best. 
Everyone in that stadium was watching us during that, all that. I heard him cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least uh, we drove the audience wild. Guess it's not, it's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer, uh, cheer for you. See ya. Boo. Cheer for us. We kicked your ass. Stop being a sore loser. Connor. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing who, uh, the way you battled, I can't, uh, I can't accept any outcomes besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Who's hot battling? Is it BD? I, I, I suspect it's BD. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handedly. So as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Who did he battle? Match for is about to begin. So wait, who did? It, it's not gonna say who he won. It's just this random trainer. Ah, oh, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like we could have had a decently like long cutscene from them then. Oh, I, I'm in a position. I'm tempted to end the episode and take on Hop and whatever's next. Because we've got a Hop and then Leon. So it's either to do Hop now in the time left. No, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next time we'll take on uh, we'll take on uh, Hop and then his brother Leon because we will warp Hop's ass. So uh, he last he last led with double, so I think I'm gonna lead with Rillaboom with Drain Punch. So, but yeah, I'm gonna stay in this right spot. I'm gonna record this episode right after finishing this one. So, question of the episode today is: A, do you think they'll show us who Hop battled? <laughs> and B, do you think we're gonna win? Because I do. So uh, answer that in the comments down below, guys. I hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's episode. Because it's the penultimate of the gym challenge and the champions challenge. And we're going to battle Leon. And we're going to become the Galar champion. The unbeatable champion is going to be unbeatable no more. Taking it. But yeah, answer the questions down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.